Alright, this is a video for 1HT about exercise 6 from chapter 9. If you want to make exercise 6, you need to read this first. I'm going to explain what it is, but first I want to point out something that you learned earlier. In the beginning of this chapter, when we did the prior knowledge, you saw this uh, schedule over here. It says all the measurements that we have for lengths. And if you go from one to another, you have to do it times 10, or if you go the other way around, you have to do divided by 10 to translate it from one measurement to another one. The uh, new table that we have here is about areas. So we have a squared kilometer and a squared meter and a squared decimeter, all of that. This way it works differently because now instead of doing times 110, you have to do times 100. So times 100 in this direction and divided by 100 in this direction. Okay? Here it also says each step to the right means times 100 and each step to the left means divided by 100. And here you see a few um, examples. Here with exercise 6 we need to translate how much 7 squared decimeters is if you want to write it down in squared centimeters. So below the book here, I wrote it down on a uh, piece of paper. There we go. So if you go from decimeters to centimeters, then that's one step to the right. So that means you multiply this with 100, so you go, you get 400 squared centimeters. Or the other way around, if you go from centimeters to decimeters, that's one step to the left. So then you divide it by 100, so then you have 3. Now, if you go from meters to this new thing, right, HA, it stands for a hectare, there you have, uh, it's over here, that's the same as a squared hectometer, okay? And there's a squared decameter, that's called uh, an air. So if you go from, what was it here today, you do divided by 100, divided by 100. So you remove four zeros in total. So let me remove the book again. If you remove four zeros in total, then you have four. So this is how you, um, how you do that. You take a look how many steps you move, and then you either subtract zeros by dividing by 100, or you add zeros by doing times 100 a couple of times. So this is how exercise six works. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.